Hi, my name is Cassie Shokar and I play for the Mount Royal Cougars and I'm a goaltender on the hockey team. Um, today I'm just going to talk about what it means to be a Punjabi goaltender in the hockey community and just the topic in general, what it means to be a person of colour trying to achieve your goals and play a sport or in my case hockey. Um, so I've never really done anything like this before where I really had the opportunity to talk about it so I'm very excited that I actually get to share like my thoughts and my opinion on it and just the general topic so for me pretty much it's just throughout my entire like playing career like it's just really it just made me realize how proud I am to be Punjabi and what it means to come from such a good community and you know show everyone that like you can play hockey and you can achieve your goals and doesn't matter what color you are like if you really put your mind to it you can do it Obviously, with that being said, there are many issues that go into that. Um, it's very hard. Um, you definitely face a lot of different experiences. And I know many people do suffer from being a person of color and, you know, essentially can get set back. And so that's obviously not fair and everyone deserves an equal opportunity, um, you know, to achieve their goals and strive for what they want. So... And it's really uh, upsetting to see, like, just because someone might be a person of color, um, they don't get the, you know, the same and equal opportunity that others might. Um, obviously, this, been, this has been an ongoing issue for years, and um, it's finally been talked about more and more. However, I think the issue itself needs to be addressed way more, and people need to talk about it. And, you know, not even talking about it, but, like, putting actions towards it and really showing like a significant change toward this because this is a serious topic. Um, for me, yeah, like I faced, you know, experiences throughout uh, my playing career of just being a um, person of color and, you know, it is very upsetting and sad to look at it, but like I take those as, you know, learning opportunities to show people what, you know, I'm capable of doing no matter how they see me or what they might think of me being Punjabi or whatever the case may be. I grew up playing guys hockey and you know that was probably my biggest struggle just dealing with you know one I'm not only a person of color but you know I'm a female playing with the, with the boys so that's always that was always taken into consideration how I feel that and it's just obviously it's really upsetting but to show everyone what you're capable of doing and to be here today and to say I'm proud of what I've accomplished and who I've become and where I am is honestly what I cherish the most. It's obviously, um, it's not easy at the end of the day, but, and you know, everyone can look at you like, oh, she's been jubby or she played with the boys, whatever the case may be. But um, I'm proud to say that, you know, being at MRU has been a really successful um, journey in my like career and my life like the community is amazing everyone you know treats you like an equal and you're honestly not looked at any differently and honestly if you look at today like racism in general is just a really harsh topic and you know I just think society needs to do more to make everyone feel like an equal and you know being a person of color should not ever play a role with who you are or how people see you and for sure should not set you back with any opportunities you want to, you know, like you want to strive for. And it's, I just think if I have to give a piece of advice, you know, everyone out there who wants to achieve their goals be by being a person of color, I just think don't let what anyone says or how they treat you, don't let that bother you. And I know it's easier said than done, but it's when you can show people like what you're capable of and what you can do even when they're trying to put you down that just shows how strong you are as an ind as an individual and you know what that yeah it sucks to be you know have not have the same and equal opportunity as other people just because of how people see you or they treat you but um just knowing how you should be very proud of yourself of who you are and where you come from and you know what race you are and just show people you know what like yeah that is horrible what you may think of me or how you may see me but I'm going to show you what I am capable of doing and how I um and what I can do and for me that's one of my biggest things is I'm very proud to be Punjabi and I'm very you know grateful to come from such a good community and have
people on my side that, you know, treat me like an equal and are very proud of, you know, me and what I've accomplished in my life. Obviously, it's, um, it's a very serious topic, so I'm very proud to be getting to talk about this, which is something I haven't really done in my past where I've been able to, you know, express my, you know, my experiences and thoughts on like this specific topic. And it's really nice to be able to get the chance to share that with people and, you know, have it be a class action almost where everyone gets to hear me and just a side of the story. Um, like I kind of touched on before, like past experiences is what has been the reason like who I am today and shaped me to be who I am. And yeah, like at times it's uh, when you get treated wrong or you don't get the equal opportunity due to being a person of color, it's very, it's honestly takes a toll on a person, but, and it can be really upsetting and just not obviously what anyone wants to hear. However, I think you need to take those and turn them into positive experiences or encounters, whatever the case may be for you. Um, I know, you know, life isn't easy and you have to deal with hardships along the way to become who you are and face like just face whatever comes your way and you know take it and turn it into something better and you have to look at it like if people are going to put you down that's that's on them and you're just going to come up and be that much stronger and that much better and you're willing to you know pedal to the metal and become like who you want to be and I think that's a huge part of it is even for me growing up like playing hockey my whole life and being a Punjabi Punjabi girl it's honestly um it's shaped me and to become who I am today and how I look at life and how I want to go about the rest of, you know, my life and how I want to handle certain situations. And I think that experiences can really help you shape, become who you are. Um, yeah, just playing hockey in general, like, you know, you can face a lot of racism and all that. But again, you just need to show everyone what you are more than capable of doing and what you can accomplish because looking back at you know, my life and my experiences, I was, you know, yeah, there's been some hardships for sure. And, and I'm just so proud to say that of who I've become, I'm very like, proud and thankful to be um, from the Punjabi community and just show everyone what I've accomplished. It's obviously um, not easy to talk about sometimes and I, some, you don't really know what to say in certain aspects, but I think it's very important that this is being talked about. I'm very glad to be able to share this with others and get their opinion on it so again just keep taking these you know bad experiences and turning them into good ones and they'll shape you to be who you are today and i know that's what i've done and i'm just again so proud to proud of where i come from and who i've become over this journey playing hockey as punjabi female thank you